Hey, so I went shopping at my, uh, my again, my favorite local uh, restaurant supply, and I picked up a couple of things. Um, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. These are just uh, measuring cups, aluminum measuring cups. I'm writing on them. And uh, these are, I believe, ice scoops or scoops for whatever. And I need to kind of make something to have the air blow across the cylinder heads. So I was thinking either these guys of some sort, kind of cutting them in half and see if I can get them to kind of mold into there or the ice scoops and have the ice scoops kind of go and catch some air and, and draw it across the cylinder heads and it looks like the ice scoops are probably going to win because they have uh, probably closer to the shape of the cylinder head so I'm going to see about cutting that handle off of there I got pairs of each of them and uh, see if we can kind of uh, get that so it can the scoops can scoop some air all right let me get the handle chopped off of there all right, I hacked that handle off here. Now I can kind of get it in the hole. I don't know, probably something like that. I don't got too far. I don't want to be rubbing on your leg, but it's got to. It does have to be able to scoop a little bit of air going down the road. So the back one actually probably maybe the back one would be kicked up further, and the front one more shallow. Yeah, you got level one hand. So what I'm going to do now is probably take a screwdriver you know, I'm going to start lifting up on this and see if I can make that kind of match the profile of that and then uh, probably drill and rivet uh, both of those together. Alright, so I got my little scoops on there. I just put a rivet in each one of them and uh, the front one's pretty much straight and the, and the back one I kicked out because uh, the airflow would get obstructed from the one in front of it. So. And you get cruising down the road at 20 mile an hour or so, 20, 30 mile an hour. That should get you enough air in across the cylinder heads. And what I'm going to do is once I take it apart, I'm going to take um, this piece of aluminum and I'll, I'll tap them out so that they fill in that gap. I don't know if you can see it. See that gap that's in there? So what I'll do is I'll take that and uh, I'll hammer it. I'll hammer this piece of aluminum out to, to fill in that gap and uh, probably shave off a little of the front here we don't need all this so uh, I'll probably knock this back probably about uh, eh, half inch three quarters of an inch something like that get rid of that material and that should do that all right okay off to something else all right, so I'm looking at those measuring cups, trying to figure out what uh, they may be good for. But I was kind of wondering, maybe headlights? They might work out good for headlights, like that. Or maybe like that. You know, I can't do this one-handed, can you? <laughs> Something like that. We'll see. But uh, I'm kind of liking that. I see how close the um, I can get some um, flashlights or bulbs or something to kind of fit in there. So this is that pulley that um, is on the jack shaft I want to use for brakes. So I just kind of want to see if I can true up the outside a little bit better so that um, the brake pads won't be uh, like pulsing when you go to hit the brakes. So I just want to try to cut the outside skin just a little bit to get it, uh, some of that out of there. Some casting marks in it too, so uh, probably tipping them off. That, but you'll get the idea. I tried running it with sandpaper, but that wasn't happening. See the casting marks? So I'm gonna try to run it down so that uh, that they're flush and the, the uh, brake shoes won't be touching on that. And then I'll flip it around and uh, I'll do the same to the other side. And I stuck the other side in. The other, this side had um, uh, 
raised um, writing, it was the diameter of the um, the pulley. I think it said three inch or four inch, whatever it was. Um, but it was it's a cast pulley, so that was sticking out high. So I shaved that off, and I ended up sticking it on a shaft, which is probably a better idea because uh, that's more the true surface. So I'm gonna probably flip this over one more time and do one more one more cut on that side. You can see that side's pretty shiny too. I was thinking about going with a setup like that, but um, going in more through the hoard, I've kind of come across um, this setup, which is a, a mechanical uh, brake caliper. And uh, you see, you pull that rod through, and if you guys can see that in there, the inside of that comes out. Brake pads are kind of wore out in it, but um, and then that would float on two pins. So I may try to see about trying to get that incorporated onto the disc and um, and it can float on those pins uh, more like a car caliper instead of a, a bicycle one but uh, I'll see what I can do I know it's uh, too skinny um, you know, width wise is already width wise is already an issue as far as getting that fit on there so I will have to slice it in half and expand it anyway but uh, let's see what happens I'm going to punch those two pins out of there get the pads out of it and uh, get a better look at what I have. Alright, so I got that caliper sliced in half and now I can make it the width that I need uh, to fit over the pulley. Uh, my only issue now is unfortunately I don't have uh, a good set of brake pads and I have no clue what this what this setup is. I don't know what it's off of. So I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to grind off what's left and uh, get two flat plates and then I may try bonding something to it. I think I'm actually going to try to go with um, maybe leather. I think that leather and the aluminum might be a good combination, but uh, we'll see. And then if that works or if it wears out too quick, I, I could always keep an eye out for pads. I wish there was a number or something on these. But uh, maybe after I clean up the wire wheel, something will show up. But uh, that's where I'm going. So let me continue on. I said, I'm going to go with leather, and uh, i got to figure out how to glue that onto those. So I think what I'm going to do is either, I'm not going to, um, it's either going to be a, a two-part epoxy or um, spray adhesive, uh, like Super Bond. I'm not sure which one would be better. I think i got to rough these up a little bit, though. I think they're a little too shiny. Maybe I'll hit them in the sandblaster, kind of give them a little bit of a tooth to them. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, so that's what I did. I hit them with the single blaster, and uh, now they're, they're toothy. And uh, I think just out of for the sake of quickness, I am going to try just some spray adhesive on, on both pieces. Let them get tacky, stick them together, and then I'll, I'll squish them in the vise. And I'll let them set up in the vise with pressure on them. And then I'm going to come back uh, after the glued on. I'll come over with the bands on. I'll cut off the excess material on the outside. Alright, let's give that a shot. I sprayed them down. It's um, you can let it set up about one to two minutes, and then you got about a ten minute window of sticking them both together. It's a little on the cool side, so it's probably fifty degrees. So I'm gonna try to let them sit up for uh, a couple of minutes before I try doing anything, and then uh, Clinton. All right, well, this is a caliper. I got it um, all sectioned and uh, spaced out to where I need it. So, unfortunately, I didn't. I went down trying to find some uh, roll pins that were uh, could bridge the whole thing, but they didn't have anything long enough. So I got two new ones and and the two old ones, and uh, they kind of locate the brake pads in there. And there's the pads; they're all cut up and fitting in there. And then I don't know if I can get all my stuff in there, but uh, let me take my word for it. But yeah, there you go. Then the pulley can kind of fit in between there, and uh, that'll be my brake caliper. And somewhere in this mess, I have a piece of steel. Where is it? There it is. It's on my eyes. I have a piece of steel, and I will bridge the top of it, and that'll make it one solid caliper all, all over again. So uh, I'm going to weld up uh, these guys first, and then uh, that guy, and then uh, see if we can make it fit on the bike. Alright, so I got all that. Uh, 
installed it into place. I took the bracket that was on it and I, I flipped it around so it faced upward uh, just because there wasn't enough clearance on the axle uh, for it. And I went this direction so that um, if I unscrew the um, pulley, the caliper can slide off with it. So this whole assembly, because this is floating, this caliper is floating, you know. And uh, uh, right now, you pull this way, it applies the brakes. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one handed, am I? Like that. <laughs> Did it work? There you go. So, seems like it's pretty good. I don't know how the leather is going to hold out, but uh, get some of that. That's the distance on it. So I figure the rubber's going to kind of wear in. The rubber, the leather, is going to wear in. And then that caliper is adjustable too, so. And it can still kind of move around that cal that uh, pulley can still move around. So now I got to try to figure out what I'm going to do for linkages of some sort. Uh, part of me thought of trying to make like a handbrake coming off the seat, but uh, I think taking your hands off the handlebars to hit the brakes might be a little, a little squirrely. It's not out of the question yet, but uh, I want to see if I can come up with some kind of solution to run something forward. So, uh, other than a lever and a cable. Uh, up to the handlebars and see if we can come up with something a little bit different. So I'm going to start on that now. Alright, so trying to get an idea what I want to do for like a linkage trying to go to the front. So I'm just bending up some uh, threaded rod and uh, I think I might go with that kind of setup. And the only thing is I have to, to push. That's where the brakes are on is, is with a push, not a pull. Unless I flip it to the lower section, but I don't see that being a problem. Whatever I use for a rocker, I can make it do that. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with like something like that with threaded rod and then take a piece of tubing. So I like, uh, I'll cut this up and I'll come off of that and that guy right there. And I'll have that mounted to kind of guide it so it doesn't want to flex so much. And then uh, going up with a pedal, I kind of undecided. I, I grabbed some uh, already golf clubs. I was thinking of trying to make like a, a, a foot brake pedal right there that you use with a golf club. Um, whether I go with that still or not, I'm not sure. I might also go with, um, I might go get like a, a spatula or something, considering I'm using restaurant equipment for everything else. I may just stick with that and uh, maybe get like a flat spatula. And uh, I want to try to set it up so that uh, when you're resting your foot up here on the pedal, um, that if you lift your foot up high enough, you could hit the, the, um, the brake pedal with it. And uh, when you're pedaling normal, if you have your foot down, you can kind of clear it each time. But that's for another day. Uh, one thing I forgot to show um, that I didn't realize I didn't show was the throttle linkage. And uh, on a past video, I was kind of showing this um, this kind of, you know, the old pull, pull chain for your lights. I have a roll of it. And what I did was I bent up some brake line around the back of the frame up. And right here, there's an element right stuck in there right now to support it. But uh, that's the neutral position, so when you rock the handlebars from side to side, that length does not change at all. So it, like it, <laughs> it's not like you hit the throttle halfway and then go make a right turn and it goes full throttle. But again, that chain just comes all the way up around and into a regular lever. And if you look, the lever runs to there, which runs my throttles. And my linkage. So that worked out pretty good. Again, all this kind of needs to be finalized and cleaned up, but we're still doing mock-up. But uh, I think that'll work out pretty good, too. And then uh, on the front wheel, I think I'm just going to do a regular uh, cantilever brake system and uh, run another lever uh, on the op uh, higher up of the clutch. So you can kind of work the clutch when you're going. You want to stop, you let go, it's neutral, and then you grab brake. So that'll be my two brake setups. Alright guys, well again, I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and uh, hopefully uh, do a little bit more on this tomorrow. Take care.